The reason we want to crash Cassini into Saturn is we want to make sure that it burns up and it doesn't land by mistake on one of the moons. If you, know, if you think about it, we, we know there's liquid water on Enceladus, for, uh, for example. We don't want a, a man-made object to land on Enceladus because if life is ever discovered there, we don't want there to be uncertainty that maybe it was taken there by a spacecraft. And so that's the reason that we're burning it up in the atmosphere of Saturn. Um, and it will be a controlled burn in the sense that we think the, the closest approach we make on the 15th of September will be deep enough in the atmosphere that we will, lose, we will actually lose control of the spacecraft and it will begin to tumble. The heat will increase and then it will just burn up. Um, I doubt whether we will see a flash or anything like that, but we will then stop getting data and that's when we'll know. Right after the, the burn in the atmosphere, there will probably be some tears. Um, we've been working together for over 20 years, you know. Um, you almost feel like the instrument and the spacecraft is part of a family. Um, so th there will be sadness, but there will also be almost relief because it's going to be in a very intense period of time. It's going to be sad, it's going to be exciting. There's probably going to be a sweepstake to try and work out how long we think the spacecraft is going to survive and what our last piece of sort of data is going to be.